what's up everyone, Game Dad here, coming at you guys with a brand new unboxing video, and this time we are taking a look at the Sega Genesis Mini. So, my wife picked this up for me for Christmas, and can't wait to dive in and see how awesome it is. I've heard some really good things. So, I'm going to take you through everything that comes in the box, show you a bit of gameplay and how the interface looks, and give you my thoughts on it. Alright, so here is the box. As you can see, it's got all kinds of nice Genesis graphics all over it. We have all the different games that are listed, so let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's inside. So the first thing that we see, we get some packaging material. Let's see, what's this guy? Oh, well that's nice. It actually came with the little block. That's nice to see in there. The consoles don't often have that. Take these out, that feels like the controllers. There we go. Nice solid weight. They feel a little bit lighter than regular Genesis controllers, but not bad. I like that they added the red in there. That's nice. And one thing that is cool about this, and I will say I did like about, say, the PlayStation Mini, <clears throat> is that these are actually USB, meaning you could just plug these into anything. You got a RetroPie, anything like that, plug them in and you're good to go. Let's see here. Nice long cord. So that is about a six foot cord on there. Awesome. Plenty of space to be able to play games with. Go ahead and get this packaging out of the way. Open up that second controller. That's another thing that's really nice. Second controller. They don't often come with a second one. Sometimes you gotta go buy that other controller. There we go. I don't know why they have to twist tight twice though. That's kind of annoying. Go ahead and undo this. There, bam, two Genesis controllers. So go ahead and move those out of the way, move this packaging. Now I have to see if I can find a cool case like I did for all my other mini consoles. Let's see, what do we got here? We've got power and that's using the USB micro. That's for that guy. And awesome, comes with an HDMI cord, and it looks like more than one of those generic three-foot cords. Yeah, that is a six-foot HDMI, very nice. So now all of a sudden you got 12 feet of distance. <laughs> they even make it look like the old original Genesis manual, that's cool. And then, in this little box is the Genesis itself. So let's open this guy up. Very nice. Lightweight, definitely, which is to be expected. Ooh, got to get that peel. Clean peel. All right. You actually have headphone volume. Obviously, it does not work because there is no headphone jack in it, but nice added detail. That is the actual on-off switch and reset buttons. And I think, yeah, so even the cartridge slot opens up. Nothing in it, but it opens. Got your two USB on the front for the controllers. And I heard that, yeah, even the expansion slot for the Sega CD opens up in there. So that's pretty cool. So awesome little mini Genesis here. Comes with those two controllers. You got your six foot power with a six foot HDMI and each controller six feet. Plenty of play distance for modern TVs. Just got your power HDMI on the back right there to USB on the front. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and I will show you guys some footage of what the interface looks like on here and play a couple games. All right, so as you can see here, we got a nice simple menu. Got all that Genesis branding everywhere. We can go ahead and check out the settings real quick. Please read this before playing. I can admit I did not do that. So you got some screen settings that you can tweak around with. Wallpaper, oh, went to the wrong menu there. This is staff credits, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that. I never read the credits. Wallpaper settings, oh, that's kind of fun. You can change your wallpaper around. I'm gonna go with that wallpaper instead. All right, let's go back to the main menu. So here we have all the different games and there are a lot of different games. I am not going to go through every single one of these for the sake of time because that would take a while, but 
it is over 40 games that come on this mini console. Right here, let's see, we got Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, some classics, you got Altered Beast. Never played Space Harrier 2, but the first one's a lot of fun. Of course, you gotta have Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe. Columns is an okay game to me, not one of my favorites. The original Sonic is okay. Sonic 2 obviously is far superior, in my opinion anyways. Kid Chameleon, kind of a fun one. Got some other goodies in here. When I first plugged it in, my daughters wanted to play, and of course they went straight for the Mickey game. They love Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Going through here, let's see. Vector Man, love Vector Man as a kid. I didn't remember Tetris being on the Genesis. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and check out Vector Man. Game start. Clean look. Oh, there it is. That's what I remember. All right, let's start the game. Classic Vector Man gameplay right here. I got to say, this controller is really nice for being, you know, a reproduction controller. Sure, it's the one from the actual company, but still, I like it. If you hit the reset button, it'll actually bring up save states, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and return to the main menu, check out a couple other titles really quick. There it is, the hedgehog with attitude and his trusty sidekick. All right, so here we have some classic Sonic action. Ooh, speedy shoes, yeah. Ah, lost all my speed. Let's get that spin dash going. Can't believe they didn't have the spin dash in the original game. All right, let's pick one more. Well, I am a huge fan of Road Rash, so let's get some Road Rash going. See, now this is classic motorcycle action. I don't know if they ever made an actual Road Rash arcade, but that would be awesome. Like with one of the bikes you can actually ride. This plays great. There is no lag that I can see at all. The controller feels awesome. I do prefer like a Saturn controller, but this, you know, it hits you right in the feels with that classic three button on there. And they give you so many good games to choose from. And of course, you know, Sega had to do what Nintendo don't and give you double the games that their consoles did. So, awesome. Good on you, Sega. Glad you went in-house for this instead of producing another one of your cheap clone knockoff consoles. So, there you go. That is gameplay for the Sega Genesis Mini. So there you have it everyone, that is everything that comes inside of the Sega Genesis Mini box. And it's cool because it comes with 40 plus games, so you get tons of stuff to choose from. It's great. Now, if you have a Genesis Mini or any of the other mini consoles, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. And while you're down there, please be sure to also hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell so you get an alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.